The announcement comes as the city of Cape Town says it forges ahead with its plans to become the first city in South Africa to be free of load shedding. Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis joins me now. Mayor, very warm good morning to you. Um, a huge announcement made today. Um, a two, two project essentially, the first of course being the 1.2 billion rand solar plant project, if, if one will, at Somerset West. Just talk us through um, how uh, this project will unfold and also some of the major funders that are involved in, in this project. Yeah, well, what we're announcing this morning is, uh, most importantly, that we have won the support of the CFF, that's the C40 Climate Finance uh, Facility, uh, to help us fund these projects. And that's really a big deal because there's a lot of talk around the world and in South Africa about where's the money going to come from to fund this just, just energy transition. And here we have two projects that the city is running that have one support from the C40. Uh, so we're very proud of that. We're the only city in the world to have one support for two of our projects uh, and one of only 16 cities that is getting financial support. This is funded by the British, French and German government in, in the main. And so we're very proud of that. And the biggest of those two projects is, as you say, that 1.2 billion rand solar farm just outside Somerset West that on a piece of land called Par de Flay. Uh, and that has the potential to produce 60 megawatts of power plus battery storage that will knock down an entire stage of load shedding when it's finished. Mayor, so when, when this project is finished, and I'll ask you when that will be or scheduled to be just now, what will this mean for um, the city in terms of its existing plans uh, to mitigate the impact of load shedding? Um, when can we see, for example, Cape Town being immune to, to the concept at all? Well, when you are having uh, higher stages of load shedding like we are having today, we're on stage six, the city of Cape Town is protecting by two stages today, but sometimes only able to do one stage. We want to just add more and more projects to our grid here in the city so that we can go to permanent stage two protection, stage three protection, stage four protection, and above. So we are still on track for the three year uh, time frame that I have uh, committed to. This is part of that, uh, that project, uh, and that's, so it's subject to the same time frame, and once it is connected uh, and with the great assistance of the C40 Climate Finance now, uh, we hopefully can, can make it go a little bit faster. So when do we exactly see um, sod turning, if one will, of, of that uh, solar farm at Somerset West? The most important thing is the planning and, and technical specification phase, which is what the C40 is supporting us with now. The idea would be to construct it in 25 and connect it to the city grid in 26. And then, Mayor, also a second project um, launched today. Um, I suppose we're all focusing on the energy because it is such a current issue in our, in our country at the moment, but very important also dealing with uh, the city's waterways. Yeah, remember the C40 finance is, is focused on all aspects of climate resilience, not just cleaner energy. And so you know that I have been focusing a lot on trying to clean up Cape Town's waterways. Uh, many of our waterways are polluted. Many of them are public dumping sites, illegal dumping sites. You'll see huge amounts of litter in our rivers. We want to, over time, clean these up. And I'm really pleased that the, that the C40 has uh, seen the value of those projects and are now backing it financially. Uh, and the idea there is to start with two of our major waterways in, in the city and put some of that C40 financing behind a, a greener, climate-friendly infrastructure to make those waterways cleaner and more resilient. Mayor Jordan Hill-Lewis, thank you very much for speaking to me. Of course, uh, the Mayor of Cape Town, Jordan Hill-Lewis, they're talking to us about the two projects uh, that has received uh, the backing of uh, this network, a uh, global network of some of the uh, top cities' mayors across the world. You're in Cape Town, of course, one dealing with uh, the ever-present energy crisis and, of course, then ensuring uh, that uh, they come together to clean the city's uh, waterways um, and so doing in a climate-friendly fashion. Fashion.